Engineering Agricultural and Medical Common Entrance Test, commonly called as EAMCET, is an entrance examination required for admission to some engineering and medical colleges other than MBBS and BD's courses in the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, India. Many other colleges offering graduation courses like BDS, B-Farm, BSc, Farm, D, BE, BTech, etc. require qualification in this exam. Topic examination The EAMCET is a yearly examination taken by a large number of engineering and medical aspirants in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana state. Presently the Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Kakinada conducts AP EAMCET examination on behalf of APSCHE and Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, Hyderabad conducts TSEAMCET examination on behalf of TSCHE. This is the entrance exam for engineering e category and medicine AM category, agriculture and medicine. The results are declared over 13 or 14 days every year making the counseling and admission process smooth. This exam is based on multiple choice questions type. In 2007, around 185,000 students took the engineering stream and around 90,000 students in the medical and agricultural stream, on behalf of APSCHE. From 2009 onwards 25% weightage is being given to 10 plus 2 results. The rank will be based on 75% EAMCET marks and 25% Intermediate marks ICSE, CBSE or Intermediate, around 311,355 students in engineering and 65,357 students in medicine appeared in EAMCET 2009. Topic 2010. In 2010, the EAMCET was conducted on the 30th of May. This delay was mainly due to the Telangana agitation in the previous months that badly disturbed the teaching schedule of many junior colleges, as well as due to the canal floods. This examination saw 367,269 students appearing with 328,359 in the engineering stream and 51,186 in medicine. The e category exam was from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. while the AM category exam was from 2.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. In 2013, the EAMCET was scheduled to be conducted on 10 May. According to a report by The Hindu, 2013 EAMCET received the highest number of applications. 396,143 students wrote for EAMCET exam at nearly 735 centers located in the state, among them 291,078 students were registered for engineering stream and 105,065 from medical stream. Over 80,000 students from Hyderabad alone have taken the test, though the results of EAMCET 2013 was announced on 5 June the counseling could not begin as scheduled on 17 of June, as the fees of the colleges were not fixed, Consortium of Engineering and Professional Colleges Managements Association wanted a hike in fee for admission into engineering colleges for next three academic years following an increase in the expenditure. The government appointed Admission and Fee Regulatory Committee to decide the fee structure for the engineering colleges and based on that it sought proposals from the colleges. The AFRC has to decide the fee structure based on the available infrastructure facilities. Due this delay, many students opted universities and college outside Andhra Pradesh. Lastly, High Court of App ordered the start of the counselling on the 19th of August with a prior notification in public. Though the document verification started smoothly in help line centres located Telangana region, the scenario was disrupted in Simundra region following the protest against the bifurcation of the state. The help line centres did not function. For for which the convener of EAMCET arranged additional help line centers HLC in order to speed up the document verification process. It is said that the option entry in the web counseling site, would not start unless all the students complete the document verification at the help line centers.
In 2014, the EAMCET exam was conducted on the 22nd of May. There has been a lot of controversy regarding the EAMCET counseling after the state of Andhra Pradesh was split into Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. The APSCHE App State Council for Higher Education has issued the notification for counseling starting the 1st of August August of the academic year and all seats should be positively filled by the 15th of August. The Telangana government has filed a suit in Supreme Court to delay the counseling. The Supreme Court on Monday, 1 August 2014 reserved verdict on Telangana State's application seeking extension of the time schedule for counseling for admissions to engineering and medicine for 2014-15 till 31 October. The Supreme Court has made it clear that it could extend the counseling for one month and not beyond 31 August. The bench also said there could be no question of preference being given to backquote locals in admission to colleges within Telangana. Topic 2016. App EAMCET 2016 exam was held on April 29, 2016. This was conducted by JNTU on behalf of APSCHE. TSEAMCET 2016 exam was held on May 15, 2016. TSEAMCET 3 exam was held on September 11, 2016. Topic Format The format of the test had to be changed many times to make it fair for all students. An expert committee constituted by the state's Department of Education decides how the test is conducted. The test has 160 questions with 40 marks for each subject Maths A, Botany, Maths B, Zoology, Physics and Chemistry. Physics and chemistry question papers are different for E and AM categories though the syllabus is the same. The questions are of multiple choice type with four options. Many models of questions may be given like match the following, choose the correct statement, assertion reason and multiple correct types. Students have to fill the circles given in the OMR sheet with their answer. Two or more answers or blanks will be regarded as incorrect. There is no negative marking. Topic. Coaching Of late, several institutions that train aspirants for the exam have mushroomed all over Andhra Pradesh. Topic. Eligibility The minimum eligibility required to appear for EAMCET are a pass in intermediate examination or registered for intermediate public examination 10 plus 2 and diploma conducted by the AP Board of Intermediate Education, with appropriate optional subjects or its equivalent. Starting in 2011, non-resident Indians and international students are not eligible to appear for this test. This is because of the requirement of exact statistics of the EAMCET test before decision of abolishing the test is made. In case of such students who appear for the entrance test, pending result of their qualifying examination, their entry shall be subject to the securing a pass in the said qualifying examination. Candidates should belong to the state of Andhra Pradesh as defined in the AP Educational Institutions Regulations for Admission. Topic special reservation physically handicapped pH 3% horizontal reservation in each category OC BC SC street for visually handicapped hearing impaired orthopedically handicapped each 1% children of armed personnel cap 2% for the children of armed personnel IE ex servicemen defense personnel including the children of border security force bsf and the central reserve police crpf who are permanent resident of andhra pradesh are only eligible to claim this reservation national cadet corps ncc 1% for national cadet corps candidates sports and games sp 0.5% for sports and games candidates 
The following percentage of seats in each course in each institute are reserved in unaided professional non-minority institutions in category A seats for the following categories OC, 0 SC, 15% Street, 6% BC, 25% other backward class for women, reservation of seats for women, there shall be reservation of 33% i.e. one-third road of the seats in favor of women candidates in each course and in each category OC, SC, Street, BC, CAP, NCC, SP, P, P, H. This reservation shall not be applicable if women candidates are selected on merit in each category even if it exceeds 33%. If sufficient number of women candidates are not available in the respective categories, those seats shall be diverted to the men candidates of the same category. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Qualifying marks for EAMCET 2014. The qualifying percentage of marks in the entrance test is 25%, i.e., 40 out of 160. However, for candidates belonging to scheduled castes and scheduled tribes, no minimum qualifying mark is prescribed. But their admission will be limited to the extent of seats reserved for such categories. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Results and admission procedure. Every student will be allotted a state-level rank based on his or her marks scored in the EAMCET. Quite often there will be ties with many students scoring the same number of marks. In such case, the candidate scoring more marks in maths, biology will be awarded the higher rank. If the tie persists, the candidate scoring more marks in physics will be awarded the higher rank. If the tie still persists, the candidate of higher age will be awarded the higher rank. In recent years, a difference of one mark has often resulted in dropping rank by 500 or more. From 2009 onwards, online counseling has been started for engineering students. The students are to submit their required documents at the prescribed office first and then will be provided with an account to log in at the counseling website. The student will have to enter a list of colleges he or she prefers to take admission into along with the course, in the decreasing order of preference. The higher rank is most likely to get into the college of his first preference and the chances decrease as the rank lowers. Topic: Colleges under EAMCET. Colleges that admit students under the counseling based on EAMCET ranks fall under these university regions. Andrew University O region Osmania University OU region Sri Venkateswara University SVU region Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University JNTU region ANGREU University <laughs>